Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with LeBron James and Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, because LeBron was listening to Tory Lane's new album, Alone at Prom. Okay, and you know, from what I've been seeing on social media, Tory Lanez did get a lot of good reviews. Now he's showing support for the album and I guess fans were upset. Now, I saw this a few days ago, but I didn't really think anything of it because I felt like LeBron has a right to listen to Tory Lanez if he wants to. At the end of the day, Tory Lanez has not went to jail, okay? He has not went to jail. He's still out and about. I think he was just in London. So until, until he is proven guilty... I don't understand why people get upset when artists show support to Tory Lanez. Okay? Now, some fans feel some type of way because he was listening to it, I guess, when, you know, Megan said that she was graduating. But I don't even think Megan is shocked. Because at the end of the day, a lot of Megan's peers do not believe her. Okay? You know, she might have some of the female support, but the baby didn't believe her. Michael B. Jordan allegedly did not believe her. And it looks like Drake and LeBron James don't believe her either. Because Drake was playing basketball with Tory Lanez and he was posting it on social media. Okay. Plus, we all know Chris Brown was going to take Tory Lanez's side. I mean, of course. He was in a similar situation. So let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like LeBron James was in the wrong for promoting Tory Lane's music? You know, a lot of the fans online are calling him trash, which is not nice. Okay. Um, but he has that right. You can't tell somebody, you know, who to listen to, especially if this person has not been proven guilty. Okay. I can understand if he was proven guilty, but he hasn't been proven guilty. Hopefully, you know, in the future, we will get the truth. Okay. So let me know what you guys think about that. Moving on to Cardi B. Um, she tweeted that she has some exciting things coming and she wants the fans to stay tuned. Okay. So let me know what you guys think. Um, she's about to do, do you feel like she's gearing up to release music? Okay. Is it another commercial deal or advertising deal? Let me know. Now, I feel like even if Cardi B released music and it's subpar, it's not really that great. You know, I do feel like the general public will gas it. Okay. Especially if it's solo music being pushed by Atlantic. Okay. Now, I feel like she was trying to test the waters with Bet It, and it didn't really go too well. Now, I don't think Bet It was a really great record, but it wasn't trash, okay? And I actually was shocked that it really made no noise. Like, I don't even think her fans streamed it. So, I feel like Cardi B, definitely going to need a push, okay? Because I don't think that hype is there. It definitely died down. Okay. I don't think the hype is there. I think people are kind of seeing through her. Okay. And I don't feel like a lot of people find her as talented as, you know, they say they think she is. I don't think that they really think she's talented. But I feel like she's going to have some good collaborations. I definitely think she's going to have some good collaborations. And I feel like she might have some collaborations that might piss some people off. Okay. Um, she can't have regular collaborations like Offset and the Migos. Okay. She got to collaborate with people that she hasn't collaborated with before. Okay. So let me know what you guys think. It's going to be very interesting in 2022 because there's going to be a lot of people dropping. A lot of competition. Okay. So let me know. Moving on to Doja Cat. Okay. So Planet Her has surpassed Cardi B's invasion of privacy. 
And now it has spent 22 weeks in the Billboard 200 top 10 list. And that beat out Invasion of Privacy. Okay, so congratulations to Doja Cat. You know, Planet Hurt was very successful. But I would not be shocked if Cardi B comes back and beat that record. Because when she drops solo music, she is going to have a push. Okay, so I would not be shocked if, you know, Cardi B comes back and, you know, her sophomore album spends, you know, 23 weeks or 26 weeks you know, in the top 10 um, Billboard 200 charts, okay? Moving on to the baby. So he performed at Rolling Loud, okay? And fans were not happy and they were throwing things at him. And he really wasn't reacting, okay, from the clips I saw. Now, here's the thing. The baby is still blackballed, okay? Um, you know, they are asking for him to, you know, give up someone again because he he pissed off the, um, you know, powerful gay people in the industry, one being Elton John. And also, he was supposed to meet with Elton John, okay? Miley was trying to, you know, set up a meeting, trying to get him back in good graces, but he decided that he was going to go a different route. He said that he's a legend, okay, in the making, and that he can't be blackballed. But clearly, that's not the case because he's been dropping music and it hasn't really been making any noise. Okay, he released a feature with um, Lil Wayne, okay, and he also has been putting out music videos, and yes, people are watching them, but he's not really charting like that. So if I was the baby, I would take that meeting with Elton and do whatever you got to do to get back in good with the industry. Or you're going to continue to flop. And the baby has his own record label and he has signed artists. So his artists might suffer with him. The same thing with Tory Lanez. Okay, Tory Lanez you know, has signed artists, and now they might get, you know, blacklisted too, okay? That's just how the game goes. But let me know what you guys think about it. Hopefully, he can get back good in the industry. It seems as though some people have forgiven him, but he got to take that meeting with Elton John. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.